go Doctor Who. And if you don't, then you can go. Right, hello guys, we're watching Go Doctor Who, and today we're going to do five favourite Dalek stories of all time, and yeah, happy 2021. I mean, this video is being filmed in 2020 uh, before the special was announced, so if you haven't already, check out my review of the New Year's Day or Christmas special. I'm filming that advanced that I don't even know that this is, um, I don't know whether it's Christmas or New Year. But obviously you wouldn't you'd know I, I've reviewed it on the channel and I've done a trailer reaction to the trailer as well because that's what I normally do on my channel so I know I will be doing it even if it's the future me doing videos you get what I mean anyway I haven't seen the special but I'm going to rank five of my favorite Dalek stories also I've got a plan for 2021 all the way up to December and then on the back I've got loads more ideas for next year so I'm pretty I'm pretty fine for all video ideas, and yeah, there's just loads to come on the channel, so you might as well subscribe, get the little bell, so you don't miss a video, and yeah, let's get on to it, five of my favourite Dalek stories so far before the special was announced, it could eat, I hope that special's going to be good, I hope it would make the list, anyway, uh, last place, is, but even at last place, there's no bad episodes, because it's my five favourite. so yeah, uh, at last place, the fifth place is... At resolution of the Daleks. I really enjoy 13 versus the Daleks and the Dalek coming and using human as transport and using all these bits and pieces to fight um, and using Ryan's dad which relates to the story quite well I would say. Um, Ryan's dad I think should have died though at the end of this to make it more dramatic to make the blame on 13 for Ryan losing his dad. <clears throat> I think the Dalek was in this was pretty cool as well, and actually killing people, which we'd hardly ever got in Stephen Moffat's era, which I think Chris Chibnall knows how to write the Daleks, and hopefully he does well for the uh, special, which you should totally check out my review for. Anyway, uh, at fourth place now is Doomsday. I really, uh, the two-parter, the whole story, um, the big reveal of the Daleks coming out of the Void ship, and then the Daleks versus Simon was so cool, and it shows how menacing and how how much of a vital villain the Daleks are and taking over. At um, third place is Dalek. Uh, in I think it was made in 20... It was uh, made for 2020, you know? Uh, the time period that the Ninth Doctor and Rose arrive in is 2020. So that's interesting that we've seen 2020. We didn't see any Daleks trying to escape any any place, but yeah. And the Daleks was interesting in this. One Dalek, Rose touching it and then giving it emotions and having to deal with that. And Henry Van Staten and all these men getting killed off in menacing ways by the Daleks. Such a cool thing as well. And the Ninth Doctor dealing with, just after the Time War, he was like, Rose, get out the way. And then Rose having to persuade the Doctor to not kill the Dalek. And yeah. Uh, at second place now is Bad Wolf parting of the ways. A whole fleet of Daleks this time for the Ninth Doctor to deal with. And it's such a good story. And the game station and the Daleks dealing with that. And hiding f just from the time war. And them all being crazy, mad and brilliant. And Daleks that are menacing and willing to kill everyone in the game station. It's just a, such a good thing to see. When you see Daleks killing people, it's such a good thing. Where Stephen Moffat's era didn't sadly do that much. But yeah, so I really enjoy that. Uh, at first place now we have Journey's End and obviously the two-parter of this. So we have two David Tennant's, two Doctors, all the companions being fra afraid and ready to stand up against the Daleks in their mightiest power. Davros, the creator of the Daleks, planets getting stolen. It's just massive and big and bombastic and it shows how menacing the Daleks are and how much of a threat they are. So yeah, this has got to be on the list. So there's five are my favourite Dalek stories. Hope you enjoyed this video. I will be doing next week, next Saturday on the channel, five um, Cybermen stories, my five favourite Cybermen stories. Then, in the first week of February, we will be doing my five favourite Master stories. Then we're going to be doing a review of Day of the Doctor. And then, just to check my notes on what's the video scan, if I was a Doctor... Uh, how would I like my doctor to go out or how I'd like my doctor to be and then my top uh, top music from the show 
but yeah, there's a lot to come for February onwards, so check out the channel, subscribe, and I'll see you guys for a new video very soon. Have a nice day.